Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome to chapter 3, Momentum and Impulse. Example 3.1 A 0.2 kg tennis ball strike the wall horizontally with a speed of 100 m per second and it spawns off with a speed of 70 m per second in the opposite direction. Calculate the magnitude of impulse delivered to the ball by the wall. Okay, we have tennis ball with mass 0.2 kilogram. Strike the wall horizontally with a initial velocity u 100 meter per second and bounce back with a final velocity 70 meter per second. The ball moves in opposite direction, so we have put negative sign here. Okay, A. Calculate magnitude of impulse. Impulse is equals to change of momentum, which means that final momentum minus initial momentum. So mass times final velocity minus initial velocity, which is mass is given as 0.2, final velocity negative 70 minus initial velocity 100 equals to negative 34 newton second or Another unit for impulse is kg m as negative 1. Okay, B. If the ball is in contact with the wall for 10 millisecond, determine the magnitude of average force exerted by the wall on the ball. So we have to calculate average force or also known as impulsive force. Impulse is also equals to products of force and time. So average force or impulsive force is equals to impulse over time. We already calculate impulse that is negative 34 newton second over time 10 milli, so 10 times 10 power of negative 3 second equals to negative 3400 Newton. Example 3.2 Calculate impulse at t equals to 2 to t equals to 3. Here we have ft graph. So how to calculate impulse from ft graph? Impulse is equals to area under the FT graph. Okay, so we just calculate area from T equals to 2 to T equals to 3. Okay, so 1, 4. So, impulse is equals to 1 times 4 equals to 4 newton second. Example 3.3 A rubber ball of mass 20 gram moving at a velocity of 30 meter per second hits a wall and bounces back with the same velocity. Calculate impulse. So we have rubber ball with mass 0.02 kilogram moving with initial velocity 30 meter per second hits a wall and bounces back with the same velocity v final velocity equals to negative 30 meter per second. Calculate impulse. Impulse is equals to change in momentum. 
impulse equals to mass times final velocity minus initial velocity which is mass is given 0 0.02 final velocity negative 30 minus initial velocity 30 meter per second so the answer is negative 1.2 newton second example 3.4 a car of mass of 1000 kg moving at 20 m per second collide with a car of mass 1200 kg moving at 5 m per second in the same direction. If the second car is shunted forward at 15 m per second by the impact, what is the velocity V of the first car immediately after the crash? Okay, we have first car with mass 1000 kg moving with initial velocity 20 m per second and we have another car with mass 1200 kg with initial velocity 5 meter per second also move in the same direction. If the second car shunted forward at 15 meter per second by the impact, calculate the velocity for the first car. So final velocity for second car also move at the same direction with velocity 15 meter per second. So calculate V1. Okay. From conservations of linear momentum, M1, U1 plus M2 U2 is equal to M1 V1 plus M2 V2 M1 1000 times 20 plus 1200 times 5 equals to 1000 V1 plus 1200 times 15 okay so now we can calculate v1 v1 velocity car 1 is equals to 8.0 ms negative 1 example 3.5 if the cars collide head on at the same speed as in example 3.4, what would their combined velocity V after the collision if they stick together on impact? From example 3.4, mass for car 1 is given as 1000 kg. Initial velocity for car 1 is equal to 20 m per second. Mass for car 2 is equal to 1200 kg. Initial velocity for car 2 is given as negative 5 meter per second. This is head on collision. That means the car is moved in opposite direction. That's why we have to put negative sign for initial velocity for car 2. From conservations of linear momentum, so we can calculate final velocity for the both car. M1 U1 plus M2 U2 is equal to M1 plus M2 V. The car is ticked together after collision. M1 
1000 kilogram times 20 plus 1200 times negative 5 equals to 1000 plus 1200 1, gram V. So the final velocity for the Bose car is equals to 6.36 meter per second. Example 3.6 A bullet of mass 10 gram is fired at 400 meter per second from a gun of mass 4 kilogram. What is the required velocity V of the gun? Mass bullet equals to 10 gram or 0 0.01 kilogram mass gun equals to 4.0 kilogram final velocity bullet is equals to 400 meter per second and what is the recoil velocity of the gun or calculate final velocity of the gun by using conservations of momentum that is Total momentum initial is equals to total momentum final. Then we can get the final velocity for gun. Okay. Before that, we have to know that initial velocity gun is equals to initial velocity bullet. That is 0 meter per second. Okay, so mass bullet, initial velocity bullet, plus mass gun, initial velocity gun, equals to mass bullet, final velocity bullet, plus mass gun, Final velocity gun, initial velocity bullet, and final velocity and initial velocity gun is zero, so zero is equals to zero point zero one times four hundred times four kilogram. Final velocity gun. So final velocity gun is equals to negative 1.0 ms negative 1. Next, the bullet is fired into a block of wood of mass 390 gram resting on a smooth surface. If the bullet remain embedded in the wood, calculate the velocity V that the block move of at. Okay, we have a block of wood with mass. Mass block of wood is given 390 gram or 0 0.39 gram resting on a smooth surface so initial velocity block is equals to 0 meter per second and the bullet is embedded into the wood so calculate the velocity that the block move so again, we have to apply conservation of linear momentum. Mass wood, initial velocity wood, plus mass bullet, initial velocity bullet, equals to mass wood plus mass block 
times final velocity. So 0 0.39 times 0 plus 0 0.01 times 400 meter per second initial velocity of the bullet equals to 0 0.39 plus 0 0.01 times final velocity. So final velocity block of wood and the bullet is equals to 10 meter per second. Example 3.7 a 0.2 kg model car moving to the right with a speed of 0.24 m per second is struck from behind by a 0.42 kg model truck moving along the same line with a initial velocity u. They stick together after the collision and move with common velocity 0.5 m per second. Calculate the initial velocity U for the model truck. Okay, we have car. With mass 0 0.2 kilogram. Initial velocity car. 0 0.24 meter per second we also have truck with in mass truck is equals to 0 0.42 kilogram initial velocity truck is unknown after the collision truck and car move with common velocity and they stick together. They move with final velocity 0 0.5 meter per second. Okay, so how to calculate initial velocity truck? So we have to use conservations of linear momentum, that is total momentum initial is equals to total momentum final mass car initial velocity car plus mass truck initial velocity truck is equals to mass car plus mass truck times final velocity 0.2 times 0 0.24 plus 0 0.42 times final velocity truck is equals to 0 0.2 plus 0 0.42 times final velocity that is 0 0.5. So from here, we can calculate initial velocity truck that is equals to 0 0.62 meter per second.